Good evening. Time for the news. I'm Catboy Kunhua, the one person that Donald Trump has yet to fire. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Tonight in the news, Scott Baio, former sitcom actor mostly known for his roles in Happy Days, Joni Loves Chachi, and Charles in Charge, is now boycotting Dick's Sporting Goods due to their ban on semi-automatic weapons. Dick's Sporting Goods said they had to call in a replacement cashier to fill in for Scott Baio. <laughs> <laughs> A scientific study recently revealed the reason why most lottery winners eventually go bankrupt is because if they knew anything on how to manage their money properly, they would not be spending their money on lottery tickets in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> in science, famed physicist Stephen Hawking passed away yesterday at the age of 76. He was world-renowned for his theories on the workings of the universe, such as the Big Bang Theory and black holes. He was also known for writing best-selling books on the subject, the number one bestseller being A Brief History of Time, which sold over 10 million copies that span over 20 years of sales. It became the number one book bought by people who had no intention of reading it just so they could look smart. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Hawking's caretaker said they were able to confirm he passed away when the computer on his wheelchair made the window shutdown sound. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh. In tribute to Stephen Hawking, the Lego company has decided that it's going to make a Lego Stephen Hawking, which you can see behind me here. Lego Stephen, Haw Lego Stephen Hawking set that's coming out in 2018. <laughs> Lego made this set in tribute to Stephen Hawking, but several politicians have complained that this is not a good role model for children, as Stephen Hawking does not stand for anything. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Fuck y'all. <laughs> a man at a local eatery was choking on alphabet soup until he was rescued from choking by an off duty nurse. She took the words right out of his mouth. <laughs> That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last week, former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter were poisoned in public by something London authorities determined to be a Russian-made nerve agent. British Prime Minister Theresa May gave Russia a deadline to midnight last night to come up with a plausible explanation as to how this military-grade nerve agent wound up on English soil. The Russians only responded they wanted a sample of the nerve agent that was found, as they need to reuse it since Russia is facing a re-election coming up. <laughs> no. A lot of Trump aides are very doubtful. The meeting with North, Korea, North Korean leader Kim Jong-il can actually take place. And they put the odds of it happening at less than 50%, to which Trump pointed out he doesn't need 50%. <laughs> yeah. This week, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson was fired via Twitter. After Trump fired Tillerson, he announced on Twitter that Mike Pompeo, director of the CIA, will be the new Secretary of State. Gina Hospel will become the new CIA director, the first woman to do so. And Trump said there were congratulations to everyone, including Tillerson, who got fired. Apparently, he's won an all-expenses-paid trip to beautiful get-the-fuck-out-of-here. <laughs> and, and as a parting gift is a door, which they hope does not hit him in the ass on the way out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> of course, the only thing that could be more humiliating than finding out you were fired on Twitter is seeing that that Twitter was liked by more than 90,000 people. Mm. The White House denies it fired Tillerson. They deny they fired Tillerson via Twitter and claim they connected with Tillerson last week warning him of this change that was coming and they did it through proper channels. However, yesterday State Department spokesman Steve Goldstein commented that Tillerson had every intention of staying and never spoke to the president and is unaware of his reason for leaving. After he said that, Goldstein was immediately fired. <laughs> <laughs> it is unknown that the firing of Tillerson will trigger a, the suicide pact that he allegedly made with Mattis and Minichin. 
<laughs> Trump may be on top of this already as it was leaked. He is considering firing at least nine cabinet positions next week. So whether or not they're fired or wind up dead, everyone's saying they're all going to a happier place. <laughs> <laughs> After all of this came through Twitter, the company Twitter announced it is reducing its character limit to firing three White House cabinet members a week. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee announced that they are ending their investigation into the Russian election meddling and have concluded... They say that Russian President Vladimir Putin was not trying to help Donald Trump win the 2016 election. After a year-long investigation, they carefully examined all the evidence, and they have concluded that they do not also want to get sprayed with a Russian nerve agent. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way you wish it wasn't. I'm Catboy Kunhua.